Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day one of the Junico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> just to give a quick update, I was at the Yankee game day one, so go Yanks. Uh, no more sports for until a little bit, so we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, if you if this is your first day here, uh, welcome, welcome. I have a 791 day streak, though you can't really see it. Maybe after we solve this, you could see it. But so that means that we're going to be doing this all month. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, come on my Discord and hang out and and uh, show us your code. Uh, do code reviews, and we we we've been pretty good about it doing uh sharing our code there and and just kind of get comments though maybe not for today's because it seems to be a easy one um but yeah just so yeah so well i mean like i said we have 791 day streak going so we'll probably keep going until as long as we can we'll see what happens but uh, let's get started today's problem is 1480 running some of one doa given in a way sums uh yeah i mean this is yeah, I mean, I wonder if there's a good one-liner to do it, but either way, uh, I think, well, before I say that, uh, I would say, so prefix sum uh, is something that, um, definitely something that you should look up. Uh, I wonder if this is going to be the theme for this week, and I hope so, because prefix sum is something that is interesting and also uh, um, comes up often, um, but... I mean, it's not necessary for this problem, but it is just maybe a preview. And if that's the case for the rest of the week, we'll go over the co some of the concepts and solving and, and explanations and so forth. So definitely uh, hang out and yeah, come hit the subscribe button, I guess is what I'm trying to say, and uh, and solve it every day together. Uh, it's always good to solve with people and friends and buddies. But yeah, but I mean, you know, a core part of this is pretty straightforward though. So we can just do it right um and uh, there are a couple of ways to do it all right uh i would say i was going to do something fancy with doing it in price but i think that's just you know it's fine we don't need it that way but the way that i write it is just for i in and you could you could write this in a couple of ways i'm actually this is not the way that I normally would write it, to be honest, but I'm trying to write it in a way that is as least confusing as possible, maybe, but not with some, like, wrinkle about it, right? Um, I'm so bad. Um, so, yeah. So that's basically it. Uh, and we have to get rid of the prefix of zero. But the idea here is, and this is how I usually write the prefix sum for the most part, maybe not. The way that I actually write it is for, say, x in nums. Uh, just to be a little bit, eh, maybe this is a free option, but yeah. So and I, I would, oops, and, uh, and let's just call it prefix, right? Uh, and sometimes you need the first uh, zero, and sometimes you don't. But that's basically the way that I write it, right? For each number, I add it to the last number, and it's kind of similar to Fibonacci, except for only one number, I guess. Uh, so you know, uh, but that's basically what we do, and it comes up in. A lot of competitive programming, maybe not so much on interviews to be honest, but but it is something. Oh man, I, I, I didn't fix that. But that's a easy fix. Anyway, I mean, this is a easy problem, so you you probably already have an idea of how to do it. So this is how I would do it. Uh, you could use also accumulate, I think, uh, as a Python thing. But I think that's a little bit. Yeah, you know, keep it stupid, keep it simple. That's the way that I like to think about these problems, especially even on competitive and and. Um, and on interviews, right? Because sometimes you try to be too clever with one-liners, and then one, you have a typo and you don't know how to debug it because it's one line, so you can't add a debug thing easily. And then two is that, uh, for the most part, if if your cleverness means making the code a little bit shorter and maybe a little bit harder to read, that's not actually a plus, even though. Uh, and I think this is one of those newbie traps, uh, if you ask me where someone think like okay yeah as few characters as possible makes it like really cool and smart and quote unquote clever but uh and that's why i call it a newbie trap is because as an experienced engineer um part of your software engineer description is working with other people and some of that working with other people is you know, writing code that is understandable without much thought or as little thought as possible, right? Like, I don't have to figure out what someone's doing. I just look at and go like, oh, yeah, I would have written it more or less the same way. In any case, so don't fall into that trap. That's one. And also, uh, it's 
so the upside is not that much. You maybe look a little bit clever to a, some certain people who may find it clever. But two is that when you do mess up, if you have a typo, you're gonna look like an yeah, you know, not you're gonna look like like why did they try to do something this silly and in and didn't even succeed, right? So eh. anyway, th those are trade offs. I leave up to you. Um, I'm only talking about that because you know this is a pretty. Uh, did I wait someone? No, that's uh, yeah, seven ninety two days. Yeah, I only talk about that because this is not um, this is pretty silly as a you know. I mean, this is just a full event. They tell you exactly what to do, right? Um, but definitely, you know, we'll um, if it's prefixed some week, we'll talk about it more. If not, that's fine. Anyway, that's all I have for today, though. Uh, we'll we'll keep doing it for the rest of the month. So let's do it together. Let's hang out. I'll see you later. Um, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Uh, see you later. Bye bye.